What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live, doing a video, giving y'all a different, you know, a different view, a different vibe, different feel, whatnot, mixing things up. You know, I'm in this whole thing for the long run. So that's why I love YouTube, because YouTube helps us to, like, breathe and relax, you know, and to embrace the long run and keep things real and also to, you know, not be super serious about life, if that makes any sense. Of course, it's real. Of course, we're not taking it for granted, but also it helps us to not take things so serious because we're able to track our progression, our evolution, especially through YouTube, which is amazing, you know, which is real. You know, it's not just selfies or just, you know, in the second, you know what I'm saying? Like Instagram is cool and all, it's a great tool. I'm just saying, also on YouTube is amazing as well because it's a whole new aspect of things. It's diverse. It's a whole new realm, you know, and you're actually speaking, you're giving real stuff, you know, and Instagram is a whole different agenda, you know, so I just love YouTube because it's, you know, very real and it's real time, it's real video, it's real speaking, you know, it doesn't have to be censored and edited and photoshopped and, you know, like, Instagram is great. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I love YouTube a lot because, you know, you're the most, excuse me, the most transparent there. So that's why I love YouTube the most. Instagram is awesome too. It's just, I notice, excuse me, you know, like a lot of times everybody wants to take selfies and they're just smiling, 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 you know, and it's cool. That's great. You know, that's awesome. Smile. I'm encouraging to smile. You know, it's not supposed to be a sad world and it's not supposed to be, you know, unrealistic and always, you know, sunshine and rainbows, perfect positivity, you know, smooth sailing every second of your life, you know. So it's just like a healthy harmony of that. But basically, it's just, you know, I'm speaking about, honestly, I wrote down some more things about health and wellness keys, you know, how to improve your ailments, you know, and I wrote them down, to be honest. I, mean, I don't need to look at it, but I wrote it down. Just main crucial essential things. So this goes for anybody who may be out of shape, you know, overweight, you know, a lot of health ailments, you know, sickness, problems, stress, you know, you just feel disgusted and kind of like ill about you, about your life about some things about yourself, you know, and I'm just keeping it real because this is how, this is what I'm overcoming, you know, and I'm still always building myself. I'm still, you know, I'm a young man, you know what I'm saying? But I do have information I can share that's been helping me get to this point where I'm at now. So number one, what helped me was just by going vegan. So going vegan means that you do not consume any type of animals at all. So that means no beef, no pork, no chicken, no turkey, no fish at all, no catfish, no shrimp, no tilapia, no crabs, no cheese, no butter, no milk, no eggs, you know, nothing that comes from an animal, that's what a vegan is at all. I don't care at all. Nothing from an animal at all is that simple. So, like, basically, it's just, like, it's that simple, you know? So, what when you take all all these animal products, what do you have left? You have fruits and vegetables. You have herbs, spices, nuts, and grains, you know? So, fruits and vegetables. What are some examples? Strawberries, grapes, mangoes, lettuce, onions, kale, tomatoes, you know, herbs, all the different herbs from basil, oregano, dill, parsley, the list goes on. There's infinite amounts of herbs out there and plants. And grains, what else do we have? Wild rice, forbidden rice, brown rice, quinoa, couscous, you know, etc., etc. There's so much herbs, turmeric, you know, cannabis, you know, hemp, hemp seed oil, you know, dandelion root, ginkgo root, sarsaparilla, you know, guaco. There's so many different, oh, nettle, milk thistle, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. Ashkawanda, 
You know what I'm saying? There's a whole lot of different herbs out there, a lot of different stuff. And I'm very, oh yeah, valerian, valerian root, you know? There's a lot out there. I'm remembering them because I've tested them on me. You know, I've been experimenting with all these herbs on me, you know? So just CBD, I already mentioned that. CBD is great too. I already mentioned that, but I, I love that the most. That's like my favorite meditation tool is CBD, cannabis, because we're able to just chill. We're able to just relax for a little while. It helps out with anxiety. You know, it helps out with just, just to breathe. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to stay dependent on it. You know, obviously it's great if you want to go days or weeks as like a therapy or whatever, but like it's a good tool to get you throughout your day. They have them in vapor. You can do it however you want. You know, there's edibles. There's all different types of formats of how to get your healing regimen going, you know, but just embracing all of that, having a mindset, hey, I'm out in the jungle. Hey, I'm out in the Amazon rainforest. Hey, I'm out on the farm, you know, without harming any animals or eating any of the animal stuff, you know, keep in mind, oh, I'm out by the beach, you know, just natural spaces. That's the best way to get yourself ready for this whole thing, because a lot of us will be overcoming and this transition will be overcoming used to being in the city, the concrete jungle, driving, traffic, offices, jobs, you know, just school stress, you know, but just to begin this, you got to start pushing all that past, you know, to really get yourself going and get that momentum going. What's next? Eating once a day, one meal a day. So I do encourage eating one meal a day for one, because, you know, you, a lot of people, if they haven't ever embarked upon a plant-based journey or voyage, you know, you can be at a deficit with your nourishment and you can be overweight, obese, have a lot of toxic stuff around you, plaque, mucus, you know, junk, like built around you, you know what I'm saying? Just dead waste, parasites, worms, you know, excess water weight, like a lot of stuff going on with this whole thing. And, you know, when you go one meal a day, it's like a big thing of vegetables. And after a while, you aren't even that hungry anymore. You're satiated. You know what I'm saying? Most, the majority of the world, especially America, a lot of the Western hemisphere, people are very severely overweight. It doesn't mean you have to be skinny as a twig and it doesn't mean you have to have a six pack or anything, but you, I'm saying a healthy overweight, morbidly obese, you know, people who aren't eating healthy, people who are just fat and eating just junk, you know what I mean? Twinkies, ice cream, just starches, white sugar, white table salt, you know, white bread, white rice, just stuff that has no type of nourishment at all. You know, stuff that isn't found directly from nature, the soil, the source, without man touching the ground at all. I'm talking about stuff that just goes, you know, natural stuff, grapes, mangoes, kiwis, limes, you know, kale, arugula, the herbs, all that stuff. It helps out so much. And just having that mindset is how you start to detach from the other junk, okay? So embracing one meal a day, you know, getting a big old thing of veggies. I learned this from my mentor, Mike Rashid, and it works. You know, having a big old thing of veggies, vegetables, you can break it up how you want to. It just helps doing once a day because especially if you're beginning on this whole thing, more than likely you're probably overweight. Your gut health, your belly, your body is a little bit out of whack and it's a lot heavier than it actually needs to be. Otherwise, you just keep eating, 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 and it'll never be enough, you know? But like when you finally get to the root of it, your digestion, your stomach, your digestive tract and everything like that, you learn, hey, I need to get this stuff out of me. So eating once a day, that helps. You know, drinking one gallon of water, of one gallon of spring water or distilled water or alkaline water. I get alkaline water from Whole Foods and it helps just the refills. You know, you can get distilled water. I also learned that from one of my other mentors, Coop DC and Lacine. They mentioned that distilled water is one of the most purest waters. Mountain spring water, you know, that's phenomenal as well. I learned that from my mentors, 
you know, Dr. Sabian, Ralph Smart, Infinite Waters. And that's just mountain spring water from the geysers, you know, the glaciers and geysers, you know, the springs, as well as just mineral water, you know, different types of mineral water. So those things help as well. Um, the sunshine, getting out into the sun. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. The sun is always great. Obviously, I know even if it's like really cold outside, still you can enjoy the sunshine. Even if it's super hot outside, you can still enjoy the sunshine. You know, just embrace it year round, to be honest, because it helps us heal, you know, our body. It helps give us energy, you know, and it's a warmth. You know what I'm saying? I personally love being in warm, tropical spaces, but I'm aware that there's many different climates in the world and I'm embracing all of it. But it's just, you know, I love the sunshine because of the warmth that it gives off and it feels like home because me personally, I stand for just, you know, I really love tropical type of environments, sunny type of environments. That's why I'm really desiring to go to Africa, you know, to go to California, to go to Brazil, to go to all across the world, to be honest, all around Africa, all around, you know, South America, you know what I'm saying? Australia, just all around the world, to be honest. But just the sunshine helps out. It, you know, it obviously helps grow the plants, you know, with photosynthesis. So it can help us grow as well. I know what I feel. I feel great when I'm in the sun and I'm aware that it must help out with our health because it's common sense. We're, our natural habitat is nature and it's outside. You know, it's not inside an office. You know, yes, some people work in offices. That's great. But I'm saying don't ever forget about nature. Don't ever forget about get down to the sun. How many of us, whenever we were children or even in school later on, we had recess, playtime, you know, at lunch or after school, sports and stuff like that. How much all of us love that, you know, more so than just homework or, you know, <laughs> studying. You know what I mean? Let's be real now. Let's be real. OK, so that's that. And exercise, you know, whether it can be just walking, it can be running, jogging, hiking, you know, canoeing on the boat, you know, it could be going to the gym, pumping weights, basketball, football, whatever, but just something, you know, something to get you moving. Even walking is still good. It's still healthy. You know what I'm saying? But just mix it up. There's so many different possibilities with it. It's just what flows well with you in that time. You know, everybody's got a different plate on their schedule. So that's why there's no competition. You don't have to compete for who has bigger muscles or whatever, you know, like you just do what works for you. You know, some people like yoga, some people like cycling on the bike. Some people like just playing basketball. Some people like just lifting weights. Some people like swimming, you know, some people do all of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I do, I'm, I embrace all of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to be Michael Jordan. I'm not here to be Tiger Woods. You know, I'm here to be eternal authenticity, you know? So I'm well-rounded, you know what I'm saying? So that's that. Just those are just essential things. The rest, you know, sleep, rest. That helps out a lot too, because I notice. I mean, we all know how it feels sometimes when you're in that fast party club life, where there's a lot of drinking, a lot of just staying out late and party atmosphere, single life, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it's like when you stay out late, you already know the next day. Maybe you have work or something or whatever, and you wake up and you feel draggy, you feel drained, you feel tired, you feel lethargic. You don't feel all the way given your 100% attention to life. And that's why I'm glad. I mean, honestly, I've always loved my sleep, but I noticed I might have had a year or two where I started getting into, you know, the nightlife, you know, going to some clubs and parties and stuff like that. And I noticed I didn't feel good the next day because you're tired, you're drained, and you're deprived of sleep and probably dehydrated too. And our body emits hormones whenever we're about to, whenever the sun is going down and it's starting to get out dark outside. You ever notice older people or really healthy, well people, you know, they're ready to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to drink any alcohol. They don't need to drink any, you know, syrup. Some many of them can just fall asleep naturally, you know, and that's where we're supposed to be. We're supposed to give off this serotonin or melatonin, whatever, our sleep circadian cycle stuff, you know, to get us to fall asleep. And that's what happens whenever you get away from that 
destructive lifestyle, you know, that isn't serving you. So I encourage sleep, you know, however much you can, six to eight hours, whatever, you know, but just don't ever think that you have to be a workhorse 24 seven with no rest at all. Thinking that you got to compete with everybody, distracted by the music, telling you, hey, do all this silly stuff or whatever. Like, nah, listen to your own, what you know is best for you. It may be different, but so what? Be different because you know you'll be ahead of the game like we are. You know what I'm saying? Because when you listen to what makes sense, instead of draining yourself out, you got to keep in mind the long term. Do every single day. Ask yourself, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or even 10 years down the line, do I still want to be waking up every day tired, miserable, drained, stressed out with only two hours of sleep? four hours of sleep every day. Do I really want to do that? For me, the answer is no, personally. You know, I understand sometimes you might have to stay up late at night, you know, but I'm saying always keep yourself first, your health first, such as rest and sleep, getting at least six, eight hours, you know, minimum, if not a few naps in the day. I don't know, but it's just making sure you have that because during that time, you know, for those of us that are younger, we give off natural HGH hormones, natural HGH, which helps us to grow. You know what I'm saying? For children, young people, that's helping us to grow, you know, our brain, our bone structure, everything so that we can rise, you know, so we can replenish, so that we can heal, you know. And I remember I learned from my mentor, like we go through, like we have like our brains is washed while we're sleeping. Like spinal fluid is like rinsed throughout our brain or whatever while we're sleeping. It's a bunch of deep stuff I, I have to do more research on. But bottom line, sleep is sleep. Get some, you know? Don't ever think that you gotta just never get sleep, okay? If you hear all that stuff, that's cool. Do whatever you wanna do. I'm just saying what I'm doing, what's helping me, okay? For real. Because I understand this responsibilities, but at the end of the day, you gotta live with yourself. And if, like, I'm here to live triple digits, you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm keeping in mind, you know, when I'm 50, when I'm 60, when I'm 70, when I'm 80, when I'm 90, I'm not about to be stressed out, tired with bags under my eyes, stressed out, drained with only an hour or two of sleep, you know? That's not me at all. So those are just basic, simple things, you know, common sense, simple things. Just the vegan the nutritional adjustments, meditation, you know, time with yourself, just to think, just to sit, just to meditate, incorporating new plant stuff, you know, researching, drinking water, juices, smoothies, maybe meal replacement shakes, plant-based meal replacement shakes, you know, they help out too. So you're not having to use a restroom all the time, but you just have something in a, you know, a simple liquid flow. It's easier for you to digest. And also, Like I said, rest, sunshine, drinking a gallon of water a day, and exercise. You know, those are just basic things. And I learned these from my mentors, and I'm just sharing it in a unique way to you all. So, anyways, this is what's been helping me. It's what helps us. So, send you all best regards. Y'all have an amazing day. It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live. Peace.